Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Dog owners and puppies at home, this one's for you. We all know training a dog is not an easy task, so we're here to make it just a little bit easier for you. We're joined here by Michelle Douglas as a certified professional dog trainer and Alyssa Bergatti and her puppy, Amber. Thank all three of you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for having us. being here. So uh, the first problem is she said hello. <laughs> so walking on a leash is uh, obviously the first issue that some dog owners run into. Yep. So how Amber, do we Amber. combat that? Come here. Amber. Hi. So um, the, the first mistake that I think a lot of people make is that they let their dogs pull for a while when they're puppies yep. and then they want us to teach them to stop pulling. Well I like to teach them to walk and follow from the beginning instead of having them pull first and then undo that. Mm. So the way that we do that is we would actually um, have them start by sitting in front of us and back up and say and invite them to follow and then we would reward them where we want them to end up right at our side okay and then turn mm -hmm. and take a couple steps and reward them at your side and take a couple steps and reward them at your side so you're telling them where to be mm -hmm. and making that where they want to be yeah because they have a natural yes. urge it seems to pull when they're on a le leash yes mm -hmm. they want to they want to investigate the world and I actually, um, when we get a little bit more involved with puppies, I use a lot of food, but when we're actually out walking in the world, we use that sniffing as the reward. So if you walk at my side for a few steps, then you can sniff. Yep. And you, you can sniff that tree over there, but you have to walk at my side to get there. So the environmental rewards are really powerful. When what we're are some of the other big issues that people run into? I think the other most common one is um, not jumping on people. Oh, and, yes. and of course, I'm, they, their complaint is jumping, mm -hmm. and um, but I'm always focused on, well, what do we want them to do? Well, mm -hmm. and so we want to teach them polite greetings. And so Alyssa's going to demonstrate how we taught Amber, I'm just moving oh, over great. just a little bit here, um, how we taught Amber to say hello to people. And that's by touch. teaching her to touch their yes, hand. Because right most people, when they greet a dog, they reach out. And mm -hmm. so if we teach touch. them that the hand is something that they touch with their nose, then they're not trying to get up at the person's face. Mm. Touch. Yes. Yeah, I have an 80-pound golden at home that loves to jump, so I'm watching this closely. Touch. And this is Good so much girl. easier than trying to get them to sit when they're excited. Right. It okay. just gives them a, 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 a task to focus on. Okay. Oh, wow. Touch. You Good have this girl. dog. Wow. <laughs> and, and she's how old? Um, 10 months. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this dog yes. is so well-trained already. And, and some people do it like a fist because a lot of people oh, will, yes. um, will, will, they've learned to not uh, give the dog the f their fingers. So <laughs> they, uh, a lot, you. if you go out in public, they'll have people touching. Uh, um, we teach the dogs to touch the fist that's presented. Wow. You say, oh, let them sniff you, and they go like this. Okay, so yeah. even complete strangers now, the dog just... Go, but yes, does that. Wow. after they do it, about usually about 10 different people, then they start to generalize and try that new behavior with every new person that they meet. I love that. Okay, Ooh. any other? <laughs> My other really kind of uh, secret trick is that if training is fun, it is done. And so I encourage people, especially uh, families with children, to, to teach the dogs lots of tricks. Lots of tricks. And so do you have a favorite trick you want to demonstrate? Um, well, she's really good at leave it, and I guess that's okay. my favorite. Oh. Sit. Okay. Leave it. Whoa. Good girl. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah. <laughs> and she's only 10 months old, so. Right. Yeah. Do that again. She has a Let's great see. trainer. See. Leave it. <laughs> Whoa. That is really yes, impressive. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl, Amber. Oh, I realize. <laughs> we got to get to work at home. <laughs> that is so good. Wow, this is some great advice. And any big mistakes that people are making when they're doing their training? I think that um, I see a high percentage of people really just getting frustrated and punishing their dogs a lot when they make That's mistakes. Right. And I think that that inhibits the learning process quite a bit, just like with children. Hmm. So um, training, modern training has gotten away from using punishment to, to um, correct all the bad mistakes that they make. Yep. Um, because you're, then you're spending a lot of time saying, yeah. don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. It's much easier to just decide, okay, I don't like this behavior. Mm. What do I want her to do instead? Wow, this is great. Thank you both so much for being here. You're and welcome. Amber Thanks for having us. Such a, what a little role model dog that this is. <laughs> Thank you both so much. You've done a great job with her. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for coming on and showing us. <laughs> Absolutely. Still ahead, we're going to have another check of the top stories we're following this morning on Good Morning Connecticut. Ouch. And we're checking out a one-of-a-kind bistro in our state. Plus, packing and planning for school. Foods you should be feeding your kids when we come back on the other side of this break.